Hi guys, so today we have another sinful confession thread and don't forget if you have your own sins write them down in the comments below so maybe we can make a video with your sins involved. And they best be good th sins like, like actual, actual sins. sins. Not like, like not, not like not like stuff that you're going to go to jail over. Yeah, not but like, like that you know, but like good sins. But like you know the fun sins like you know the fun sins of yeah I was with this group and like the guy he was like he just started wanking off under the table, you know, that type of shit. So I helped him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, like, on with this story. Let's, well, not really the story. On with the thread. Let's get into this. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, all the other good shit. And we'll see you at the end of the video. A DM pissed me off by siding with his murder hobo girlfriend over me after I killed her in self-defense. He revived her and killed my character, making me roll a new one with lower stats because my last one had lucky rolls and that he thought made me too powerful. So I decided to systematically ruin his fun by throwing a wrench in his serious gim derp, gim derp? Gim derp. <laughs> Grim derp it's story. Like, it's like gim dark, but like... Derp. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Trivializing combat encounters with stupid tricks that often killed my character, but brought things off the rails and generally messing up his railroading story as much as humanly possible. This continued for almost a year. He clearly didn't like me, but everyone else in the group was a friend of mine and enjoyed my memeing. My memeing? My, my memeing! <laughs> as well as not suspecting anyway. He eventually stopped DMing and playing permanently because he just wasn't having fun anymore. I regret nothing. Yeah, honestly, that's not really a confession, per no. se. Be honest with you, like, you know, don't get me wrong, the boy was probably being a dickhead, whatever, but, like, the DM sounded like a bit of a con, so fuck it, you know what I mean? Just have. <laughs> You know what I mean? Fuck it. Like, if he was asking for it, he was asking for it. <laughs> Simple as. You know what I mean? Do it. Do it. DM started to feel fatigued, so he asked me to take over. But he still wants to play in his campaign world. I decided to set it on a different continent to avoid stepping on his campaign. I also cover the continent in a magical shimmer to prevent travel between our campaigns, since I am already using a highly potent magical aura in my setting. I unironically take some of Call of Cthulhu's world building, just the shifting landscapes making travel inconsistent. This is all well and good until my friend asks if he can play a cat folk. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> not actually, no. not actually. Most most cat people are actually not that bad. Yeah. Since then, I've just started taking some of the less lewd aspects of Call of Cthulhu and slipping them into my campaign. Be honest with you, I don't know. I'm not really overly fussed on that one because, no. like, the thing is. Right, okay, the guy doesn't want to DM anymore, but he still wants to have his setting. Yeah. It kind of, that's like one of the big appealing parts of being the DM is you get to create the setting yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? It kind of feels like having your cake and eat it at the same time. Yeah. But look, as long as he's alright with it, I just don't really see any shit. I don't really see anything sinful involved. I need to confess. I posted a lewd picture of Komi-san on A today, and I am ashamed of myself. I have been trying to stay pure of Komi Sama. Of Kom, Kom Sama? Komi Sama? Sorry, we don't speak weep. I don't speak weep. But I can't seem to control myself. Every day I break my promise to be pure. I look at disgusting pictures of her and defile my body in her name. <laughs> it's the worst sort of blasphemy. I'm utterly ashamed of myself. I am a disgusting piece of shit. I'm sorry, Komi san. I'm so sorry I'm like this. I don't deserve you. <laughs> well, he, he seems very willing, like, you know, to confess. So, like, it's okay, <laughs> mate. It's okay. We all, we, we like, I, I don't know what this waifu looks like. Well, we can check, right? Let's get, let's get it up. Well, well that's not the worst waifu. They've seen a lot oh, worse. Oh, is she a cat girl? Oh, oh, no, she's not. Oh, I don't know. Look, we're just, oh, I don't know. I don't speak weeb. Ah, uh, we don't know these things, okay? Don't judge it. <laughs> I'm mean to people online because I disagree with their opinions. Same. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I once accepted blowjobs from a female <laughs> player at my table in return for what she thought was a favourable treatment from the DM side of things, but in actuality, it wasn't. <laughs> I've never came across such levels of fucking thoughtery <laughs> in my life. Oh, like, suck, I'll mate, suck your dick if you give me good rolls. <laughs> mate, can, mate, can, can, I get, can I get a fucking advantage on that? Yo, yo, can, you, can I get like a plus one weapon there, please? <laughs> yo, 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 come on. Sword, sword say, please. I, I suck your dick! You know, and like, what the fuck is going with people? I can't stop masturbating to the hundreds of pages of erotic fiction I've written and will never publish. 
this side of the grave. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be, it pub- will be, be published. published at some stage. It only makes it more valuable if you're dead. <laughs> I really hope he's got like a dead man's grip thing going on. You know, like this, is, like you know, what, like one of them ones on like old trains. The oh yes, would release if you like, it, yeah. It would instantly cut off. I hope that, but like with on a published button, but like an unpublished button with ten terabytes of fucking just uh, the smart. more yeah, just genuine smart. Be honest with you. I hide my blatant abuse of the rules through fluff and backstory. I also accuse people who I dislike of doing the same. (laughs) (sighs) It's one of those ones where he did admit, but we all kind of do that, let's be honest. Like, you know. I want to fuck a space marine. (laughs) (laughs) I'm actively trying to kill several PCs who I dislike. I don't care that the players like their characters. I don't. And they will die because of it. That sounds a bit like some of the DMs on the fucking Westmarch server. (laughs) (laughs) My campaign setting is based on terrible smut I was writing for a porn game. I backed away from development because I spent more time world building than writing passable erotic fiction. Oh god. Why is there so much fucking porn in this thread? I I didn't really realise that there was that much... Porn? Well, yeah, I knew that was from porn, but I didn't realise <laughs> there was that many. Like, I only know of a couple, like, goal playing fucking, like, straight up sex ones. Like, what's that one where you go for asshole circumference? I have no idea. I think it's called Fatal um, Thing you did a video on. <laughs> I have... <laughs> what? I think it was I think a flea man did the video on it, to be honest with you. It was actually pretty interesting. <laughs> anyway, like, let's, let's keep going with this post anyway. <laughs> I was too lazy to write something new. So yeah, the evil queen is using dark magic to mutate an army of minotaurs oh into super God. soldiers. And why the fuck minotaur? Big fucking dirty minotaur. So dog. she can fuck them. Fuck. I'm gonna fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a bisexual liberal G. But my favourite Space Marine chapter is the Black Templars, precisely due to their zealous bigotry towards pretty much everything. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get like a more zealot chapter, to be honest with you. It's just, yeah. <laughs> One of the criteria I look for when shopping for new RPG setting is, do cat girls exist in this world? Also, manga style artwork is a plus for me. Suck my dick, SJWs! SJWs. Yeah! yeah. Oh, sweet, that post sounds like it was written by fucking Garb. <laughs> Tell me I'm fucking wrong. <laughs> I set up a scenario where my players were tasked with pacifying a very angry sea goddess, or kill her if all else fails. She was a really angry sea goddess. Like... You ate my people and polluted my waters. I'll murder all humans and return life to the seas, angry. Come final quest boss time, I last minute made it so that she was acting this way because an outside force was goading her into doing the terrible things by exploiting her emotions and amplifying her anger. One of my players admitted after the fact that the idea that the sea goddess was being manipulated into acting this way as opposed to having reached the conclusion of killing all humans by her own self, cheapened the narrative. I agreed with him. But hey, everybody got sweet rewards for the quests, and I got to give them a fun boss battle, so... Yeah, that's yeah. not even all that bad, I'll be honest with you. If yeah, like, you know... If it doesn't actually make sense, who cares? It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, sometimes you, sometimes you do just run into that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes you've, like, planned something, it's like, oh yeah, and then someone Somebody, points out... It's, they actually uh, just point out the most obvious shit, it's like, why did I not actually think about <laughs> that? You know, what... Because it's what, fun. What's, what's wrong with me? As much as I value my outer group of friends that I play D&D with, holy fuck, I hate their guts sometimes. I have no problem with whatever your personal beliefs are, as long as you aren't a pedo or a racist yeah. <laughs> or judging someone based off affiliation. But man, all these people do is talk about small oo gay bean <laughs> What? <laughs> and make all their characters gay or non binary and horny. None of them want to play anything that isn't a heart of gold hero or a caricature of what a normal gay person is like. I have no problem with your character being gay, but man, it cannot be their whole identity. I really want to do a campaign where I can have fun characters that aren't all the same. And I can actually put the group through hardship without the group treating it like a joke. But this smaller group on my outer circle of friends is all I have as far as D&D goes. 
I want to just cancel our current campaign and tell him that that's it because their characters have been the same for the last two and I'm getting bored of the same things happening no matter how hard I try to change the setting. Well, I think that's the first time I've ever heard of someone referred to their cock as ooh, ooh gay bean. Is that, is, wait, is that what the, is that the I th- cock? I think, I think that's what they're trying to say. Oh, ooh, ooh, gay bean. Yeah, no, small though. I don't, I don't know. I like, don't know. Like, honestly, this isn't a fucking, this isn't a confession. These people are just cancer and, um, <laughs> you know, that you just got to deal with them as you were, would, you know. I, I bet you there's a lot at that table and there's a lot of, yes, Oh, bitch. no. Yes, queen. <laughs> oh, you know the type. Slay. You, 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 you know the exact type. You know, I don't know. I don't know. You know what that is to me? It's like, I don't have the right words for this type of shit. You know what I mean? It's just gay ass shit. You know what I mean? Like, there's not really much other words I can put on it. In a game where my DM and his girlfriend are very clearly erotic role players using a DM play character and her character with an extreme degree of frequency, the erotic role play solo sessions are canon and often result in positives for her character. Her character is also a self-admitted zoophile, and I think 14. Everything else about this campaign is very good, so I'm not leaving quite yet. Well, I must say, I quite enjoyed this one. I so really I, enjoyed it. I liked it. There was a lot of... I, there was I, a I, lot of smaller ones and big ones, yeah. but the smaller ones were funny. The, the smaller ones were actually more fun. I, I really enjoyed that guy that was confessing about wanking over the waifu, and he just wasn't <laughs> worthy. He was playing my favourite, to be honest with you. But look, it's okay. He, he knows his place. He knows his... He, he knows it's like, no, I'm a sinful person. I must repent. I but must don't repent. forget, if you have your own sins, write them down below, because I want to read them. I yeah. want to read your sinful acts. Well, no, maybe not. But look, it'll be fun anyway. <laughs> so that, like, leave them down below. Also, before we leave, remember to check out Megan's channel. Also, remember to check out my models that we've got up for sale. We're, Sexy ass models. Oh, we're going to get some big new titty mo- models. We're going to get some more big titty models coming in soon, and we've actually <laughs> got some like, like I'm telling you, they're really nice models. So definitely check out the eBay store. Links down below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>